Welcome to morning prayer for Wednesday, the 24th of November. November. Uh, and today we're remembering uh, James Noble, the first Aboriginal person ordained deacon. Uh, my name's Arthur Copeman. I'm the Archdeacon of Newcastle. It's my privilege to lead you in prayer. James Noble was baptised and confirmed in the Diocese of Newcastle in Scone in July 1895. He later returned to North Queensland from whence he'd originally come, where he was active in missionary work there and later in northwestern Australia. Ordained deacon in September 1925 in St George's Cathedral, Perth. He died on the 25th of November 1941. In 1926, he was central to investigating rumours of a massacre of Aboriginal people close to the Forest River and was called to give evidence at a Royal Commission into that. He was married to Angelina Noble, having had two fiancés die before he could marry them previously to that. Uh, Angelina had a significant ministry in her own right in a variety of ways. And we remember him today and we'll remember him in our prayers today. We pause as we come to this time of prayer. We meet in the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us to be your children through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely, best freely bestowed on us in the beloved. That was a song of God's grace from Ephesians chapter 1. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And the Psalms are set for today are Psalms 56 and 57. And they can be found in the prayer book if you're following on page 278, 279, Psalm 56. Be merciful to me, O God, for they are treading me down all day long. My adversary presses upon me. My enemies tread me down all the day, for there are many that arrogantly fight against me. In the hour of fear, I will put my trust in you, in God whose word I praise. In God I trust and fear not. What can flesh do to me? All day long they afflict me with their words, and every thought is how to do me evil. They stir up hatred and conceal themselves. They watch my steps while they lie in wait for my life. Let there be no escape for them. Bring down the peoples in your wrath, O God. You have continued my anxious tossings. Put my tears in your bottle. Are not these things noted in your book? In the day that I call to you, my enemies shall turn back. This I know, for God is with me. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust and fear not. What can flesh and blood do to me? To you, O God, must I perform my vows. I will pay the thank offering that is due. For you will deliver my soul from death and my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Psalm 57. 
Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful, for I come to you for shelter. And in the shadow of your wings will I take refuge until these troubles are overpassed. I will call to God Most High, to the God who will fulfil his purpose for me. He will send from heaven and save me. He will send forth his faithfulness and his loving kindness and rebuke those that would trample me down. For I lie amidst ravening lions, those whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharpened sword. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. They have set a net for my feet, and I am brought low. They have dug a pit before me, but shall fall into it themselves. My heart is fixed, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and make melody. Awake, my soul, awake, lute and harp, for I will awake in the morning. I will give you thanks, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing your praise among the nations. For the greatness of your mercy reaches to the heavens and your faithfulness to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens and let your glory be over all the earth. We consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, words and actions be well-pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Bible reading is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 2, commencing at the first verse. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he was at home. So many gathered around that there was no longer room for them, not even in front of the door, and he was speaking the word to them. Then some people came bringing to him a paralysed man carried by four of them. And when they could not bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And after having dug through it, they let it down, down the mat on which the paralytic lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there questioning in their hearts. Why does this fellow speak in this way? It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins but God alone? At once Jesus perceived in his spirit that they were discussing these questions among themselves. And he said to them, Why do you raise such questions in your heart? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven, or to say, stand up and take your mat and walk. But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, stand up, take your mat and go to your home. And the man stood up and immediately took the mat and went out before all of them, so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We've never seen anything like this. Jesus went out again beside the sea. The whole crowd gathered around him and he taught them. And as he was walking along, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax booth. And he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. And as he sat at dinner in Levi's house, many tax collectors and sinners were also sitting with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. When the scribes of the Pharisees saw that he was eating with sinners and tax collectors, they said to his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? When Jesus heard this, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician. But those who are sick, I've come to call not the righteous, but sinners. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Today I'm Laodimus. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. 
To you all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, <clears throat> Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Stir up, we pray you, O Lord, the wills of your faithful people, that they plenteously bringing forth the fruit of good works may by you be plenteously rewarded through jesus christ our lord amen heavenly father loving shepherd of your people we thank you for your servant john noble who was faithful in the care and nurture of your flock and we pray that we may follow the good of his example and grow into the fullness of stature of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. As we think of John Noble, we pray for reconciliation across our nation. Lord God, bring us together as one, reconciled with you and reconciled with each other. You made us in your likeness. You gave us your son, Jesus Christ. He has given us forgiveness from sin. Lord God, bring us together as one. Different in culture, but given new life in Jesus Christ. Together as your body, your church, your people. Lord God, bring us together as one. Reconciled, healed, forgiven. Sharing you with others as you have called us to do. In Jesus Christ, let us be together as one. Amen. Our great God, this day we remember our bishops, Bishop uh, Peter, Bishop Sonia, Bishop Charlie, and pray that you would be sustaining and strengthening them. We remember the ministry of our cathedral and Dean Catherine Boyer. Uh, sustain the ministry there. And we pray for an end to our COVID pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus, that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining me to pray today.